traditions and uh, cultures we have in the country today. How important is it that we embrace it today and every day in Ireland? Well, those are tough at Loch Aleshig, the Wilmy de Carfolger, Dramana, Augustini, Chiuktos, Maragurtru, Kultur, Toka, as tradition of Kursi credit, Erfut and Dam. I guess Akahoi had come in at Madagwivne Gulnig, or a two son Kircha Kacha, the Nis Modeni Aser in Nakone, Asanilia, Shana Mavir and Ilion Fain. So to a tradition. The demerk and the migrant, the shalomak culture in here. Sabina, today is a great day for our heritage, but also for the arts and culture. Uh, arts and culture play a vital part in our community and in our society today. Oh well, of course, it's a great fest. It's a great festival, and it's becoming even greater. But it's a, it's a great, uh, you know, celebration of our Irishness. So I just want to wish everybody. Best blessings to St. Patrick, yes. and I, I wish for the Jerry Lettredge, I could see on er, in Sundown, yeah. S uh, uh, so just peace and end of end of fighting and, and lots of war, and have a great St. Patrick's Day and Amen. celebrate it with all the wonderful music and everything. I know people have a glorious time. There's fantastic music all around the town today. I walked around, so I didn't know that I didn't test on it. Ken Tachter of the talk with the Snugail and Sahanade, and I just come over to Snugail and talk to down the and about Vicky Fechenteren. Yeah, well, there's so long make law, she a contact Kilura Gaka, a winning and law shags, winning and Kilura shag, the hair in it, near one the hair in it is common, no rugger gener in it, no, our glock should listen tear and a casno, Dinatafi Kaurakaka hoire head as Nahir in it, a harm and gob come to us no a cargaminic lemma seal. Augusta Sula Maragut Maven Kela, Gamemwitic Chiakla Kela Snablianta Lekiant. It goes to Shirkanta, Gan Gamakna, the Kagi Esso, your heart, Agas, come in with an an, on Tau Kita, a chastal, don Erin, don Down Iliok, Akro. So be the Lakimus Shol and Banat is come, Kahachit and a mesh of the Jennifer and Kulura, on law special to Shah, Agas, when a Glockalish Nafunta she is Bunusi than with Namarene. There's something it's wonderful coming through the street. The, the people are so, and so many very young people, yes, are, and yes. they're all just so uh, enthusiastic. They're already like full of enjoyment. You so know? you're really, you're really looking forward to the whole parade, Sabina. Oh, I always do. I just see lots of lovely seeing people just being free and expressing their 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 Irishness and their their feeling of festival. You know. Mm -hmm. Countess of Lentus talk to Sivlian doing her father's talk or what? Countess of Lentus talk to Sivlian. Countess of Lentus. A gun every. So I guess talking to Shan's doing. It's Swin of Agus. Vehek, a Glock of Dun Fain, Vader, and Margot Main, a few to she's punish it doing. I guess Akahoire, Quivner and Dinita Imahoin, Arimin Oin, I guess Kamalishin. Na kanst du ja is fed is feder gak kanst du kahara. Aga s mora gurt me har ein radelje. Eg sul la down she a kanta sawalta das gak den aga se vad nis karmen arabatashenes. Aga s mak dere leshen kaga. Well, ucht ran aga s mir bich la unter hagiv aga s banachti ne fele kuvbert. Mila buik. Alle va. Der mesh ur alta. Karma hagiv. Karma hagiv lads.
It's the 17th of March 2023, St. Patrick's Day. The theme for this year's parade is We Are One. She had tame on the Blaine of Sanna, Shinna Irene. While you were sleeping, performers and pageants from around the world made their way to the island of Ireland. From dawn this morning, they've set up shop here to build, to paint, to practice and to assemble for you all to enjoy. The musicians, the dancers, the storytellers and the prancers are here getting ready to give you the best St. Patrick's Festival Parade ever. who's artistic director of the Inish Own Carnival Group. Kevin, you're very welcome. Um, you're constructing your strange creatures today. Can you tell us all about them? Yep, we've got three large characters. One's a big green furry one. One's a pink sort of anteater-like character. And this is our blue dino bird. And you've named him? Yeah, he is called Rory, which is named after the Rorschach test, which is uh, these patterns on the front look a wee bit like it's a, a thing where in therapy, people show you an ink blot, and depending on what you see in the ink blot, the therapist can tell you what's wrong with you. So people watching the parade today can watch Rory, watch the ink blots, and maybe find out what's wrong with them. <laughs> um, he is very tall. Are they also tall? Yeah, this is actually the shortest one of the lot. The rest are all right up about five, five and a half meters. And are there challenges then, having these guys so tall? Yeah, they get pretty heavy, so they um, can be quite hard to push along the street. So even though they're made out of polystyrene, which is quite a light material. Um, there's quite a lot of polystyrene in there, so yeah, they get quite heavy. It, um, it can be quite hard to push them sometimes. You've been working on the parade for 20 years, or you've been involved in the parade for 20 years. What's your favourite part of the whole process? I just love the whole design process. We decide on what ideas we have, we uh, spend the time in the shed making them, and then seeing them out on the street, and, and the response that we get from the crowd as well is always great. I'm sure it is. I mean, for the children just seeing these huge monsters coming down the street, it's going to be amazing this evening. Long day for you, though. We'd be looking forward to go getting to your bed. Yeah, sometime we'll get back home about 9, 10 o'clock tonight in Donegal, and straight to bed for me. Well-deserved rest. Kevin O'Neill, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hi, you poor thing. My, no one's helping you with the drum, the size of it. Lads, will you come on and help? I'm here joined by a beautiful group of people all the way from Indiana, USA. You are the Purdue Big Bass Drum Crew. Let's go. Okay, everybody wants to know, how in the world did you get this drum on an airplane? It fit in the airplane and we used a lot of bubble wrap. It was a lot of bubble wrap. Five hours of Five. bubble wrap. Five hours of bubble wrap and getting it on a little fair play, yeah, and it's 500 pounds. 565, yeah. And so it takes seven of you, because there's seven of you guys here, mm -hmm. correct. right? It takes mm -hmm. seven of you to man this drum, am I right? Yeah, that's correct. Usually we have eight, but one of them wasn't able to make it today, so. Ah, so you have to pick up the slacker. Yes, just a little bit, just a little <laughs> so bit. So tell me, there's a lot of history with this drum. Tell oh, me yeah. a little bit what it means to you and, and how big of a deal this is. So it's over 100 years old. We made it back in 1921. The uh, director at the time, Paul Spots Emmerich, he wanted a drum bigger than the man playing it. So that's how this drum came to be. It's absolutely incredible. Can I, can I hear a little uh, bang bang there? Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> that's loud. Okay, yeah. Well done, you have a real <laughs> woo, gusto for that. Um, so again then, just in terms of being a part of this band, to be part of the crew, what does that entail? Yeah, so we're a part of the drum line, a part of the full marching band, and it really gives us a great like group of people to be with and a great thing to share our love of music through. Well, we are so excited to hear you guys during the parade, and uh, thank you so much for chatting with us. The Purdue Band, big bass drum band, thank you very much. One person who had a busy night last night at Collins Barracks Festival Quarter is Rory O'Neill, a.k.a. Panty Bliss.
Rory, how was last night? <laughs> Don't I look like the perfect picture of hell? It was super fun last night with the Collins Barracks. Yeah, um, like lots of people, great buzz, lots going on. Um, yeah, I'm, and I feel wonderful after it. <laughs> and you were back with Denny as well last night. We were, Dennis and I were dancing on the big stage, yeah, in the courtyard of the Collins Barracks. Yeah, super fun. Um, we, we cracked out an old chat chat, you know, as is tradition on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and, um, but we had, yeah, super good fun. Dennis had never been to St. Patrick's Day before, obviously. And, uh, but he'd never been to a festival before either, so he was having the time of his life. Now, there's going to be so many parades right across Ireland today. Have you any memories back in Mayo? Oh my God, of course. I grew up in Ballinrobe, County Mayo, and we always had our parade every year. Um, a, a little bit smaller than the Dublin parade, but, but not much. It was, <laughs> Ballinrobe was on a good show. Um, I, I used to be in it when I was in the school band. Uh, we'd be, you know, I, had, I used to play the glockenspiel in the school band, so I've been in the Ballinrobe parade on a number of occasions. And I've been in the Dublin parade myself too, uh, where Panty has. She's been uh, chained to the top of a, a, a paper mache mountain and pushed down O'Connell Street <laughs> one year. Um, so yeah, and I always remember the first Dublin parade. Um, I don't know what year it was, but you could find out by finding out what year Tron the movie came out. Because we went to the parade and afterwards we went to Tron in the Ambassador Cinema. Before we let you go, big question doing the rounds today. What's next? Late Late Show? Oh yeah, well, well I'm shooing, I think. You know, I think poor old Ryan, he, you know, he quit because he saw me coming up behind him. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know who's going to get that job. Why, are you interested in the job yourself, Crossy? <laughs> okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so much is happening in uh, Festival Quarter down Collins Barks for the rest of the weekend. Well, Tadini Takahe Ogachar, people have come from all over. Where are you guys from? We're from Spain. You're from Spain. What are you doing here? Are you here on vacation? Are you in school? Or? I'm in school. We're studying here for a year. Yeah. And what are you studying? English. Yeah, and it's going very, very well for you? Yeah! yeah. Good. Good. Have you studied any Irish? No, no we are not. Not, 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 not yet. Say my name. What's your name? The Awish is Misa Blanca. On the bar, fall. Give a round of applause. <laughs> where, where are you guys from? Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Yeah. You're from Italy. Well, you're very, very welcome. Good to have you guys. Where are you from? I'm from New Orleans. Good. Uh, come here. This is very, very similar to Mardi Gras, I imagine, is it? Yeah, it is, and hopefully it's just as fun. It certainly will be. L a little later on, I see this lady here. Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm in great form. What is your name? Toriana. And Toriana, where are you from? I'm from Detroit. You're from and is this your first trip to Ireland? It is, yes. Yeah. And what do you think? I love it. It's been on my bucket list forever, so I'm finally checking it off. Okay, and uh, so what's the plan for later on now? I just want to get drunk with Irish. <laughs> okay, a bit of a party? A bit of a party? Okay, yeah. Are we ready to party? Yeah! We certainly are. And you at home will be partying as well if you win our big competition. Fiacher show! We have an amazing prize for you at home now. We want one lucky viewer to win their very own pot of gold this St. Patrick's Day, as we have a massive 5,000 euro cash prize up for grabs. Book a fabulous Irish holiday with your family this summer, splash the cash on redecorating your home, or simply save it all. What you do with all this money is up to you. So to be in with a chance to win 5,000 euro, answer this question. Which one of these is a symbol of Ireland? Is it a shamrock, a maple leaf, or a kiwi bird? If you know the answer, call 1517 71 71 77 or text the word parade, followed by your answer and name to 57117. Calls from the air network will cost you two euro and three cent. Calls from other networks may be higher. You must be over 18 to enter. Lines will close at midday on Monday the 20th of March. More details on rte.ie forward slash competitions where the lucky winner will be revealed. I am here joined by the Lord Mayor, Caroline Conroy. How are you doing? I'm dying to know. Obviously, you're so proud, you know, being from Dublin yourself, and it's a great and special day for Dublin. But what festivities are you most looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to everything, but the most uh, important to me is community groups because they've put in hours and hours of work, and uh, the young people... Um, show their dedication in everything that they do around the parade. I did it myself in the 90s and I know the long hours that you put in. You're probably up since 5 o'clock this morning, absolutely out of your head with excitement, but just trying to get ready and pre 
practice and practice and practice so it's fantastic yeah it's incredible fair play to them and you do work very closely with the youngsters in our community so how excited are you to see all the work and dedication that they've put into their pageants and the performances oh it's a great day for them and um, it's them showing what they uh, really can do when they put their mind to it and they lead the way in their communities because they know how long um, they've worked on this and the amount of hours that they've put into actually making the pageants yeah. or making their costumes and practicing their dance moves. Now, Lord Mayor, I have to say this, you're the third female Lord Mayor in a row. Can I just say fair play, girl hat power, trick. hat trick, <laughs> Caroline Conroy for the hat trick. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> The excitement is building and the crowds are coming in their thousands. I can feel the energy from the street as everyone awaits the beginning of this year's parade. I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by actor and director and our international guest of honour. It's Patrick Duffy. Patrick, how are you? I'm wonderful. And the sun is out. Everything is perfect. So it, you're no stranger to these shores, by the way, because the last time you were over here, we were checking out your ancestors. I was here in July. Uh, we we're doing a, a pilot for a series that I want to do on Ireland. And the first segment would be discovering my roots when we got all the way to Mayo in the little town of, of Kilmavie. And I met my first, second and third cousins that I've never met in my life. And it was the beginning of a real relationship beyond being a tourist like coming home to Ireland, having never been from Ireland. And I think that's the theme of everybody today on the street. That is fantastic. Now, Dallas was such a massive production. You're walking around the streets here today. Are you amazed by everything that goes on with St. Patrick's Festival? Well, St. Patrick's Festival, you know, is this is the second largest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world, second only to New York. And I have a feeling half of New York is here for this one. So I, it may actually be the biggest now. But I'm not amazed because I think the spirit of the Irish people is such that they want to celebrate. They want to celebrate their heritage. They want to celebrate their place in the world. And they've earned it and they should do it. I just think the weather should cooperate. Now, before we let you go, we've got a little surprise for you here. Darren beside me here is going to do a little song for you. Isn't that right, Darren? Oh, yes. Well, here we go, everybody. Here. <laughs> now, this is the thing. Hang on a second, Darren. Because we're not just going to play that team because I believe... It's your birthday today as well, Patrick Duffy. Uh, the, the Ireland is celebrating my birthday, I think. So, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patrick. St. Patrick. <laughs> Patrick Duffy, everybody! I am here with Karen Walsh, Artistic Director of St. Patrick's Festival. Karen, this is very, very exciting altogether, isn't it? Oh, we're finally here. It's great. It's exciting. Come here, Ed. The theme of the parade this year is one. How is that reflected in the pageants? So the theme means we're all celebrating this one big planet. We're all one big human race. And we wanted to celebrate the beauty of that. So you're going to see that through all the pageants. We have our big opening pageant called We Are One. So you can see these a modern retelling of mythical goddesses and all the stories. You're going to see a green galactic visitor. You're going to see some Disney friends on the route as well. And we have um, a waste shark, a giant shark. We've loads of stuff. So they've all taken that theme of one of respecting and um, each other and the land. And they're looking at all of the ways in how that can be celebrated today. Karen, this has been in your head for a long time. What does it feel like? Uh, when you're going to see your work happening right in front of your eyes today. It's really exciting. I was awake all night. I was like, please, let me just get up now and get on with it. It's been such a mammoth organisation with all of the team. It's really exciting. And to have the privilege to be, to be organising this here for everybody, it's the National Day. Everybody who lives in this country calls it home and they're all invited to be here today. And we're just only honoured to be able to do that for everyone. No, I rolled into town yesterday evening and I was looking at all these fantastic buildings that I recognise and all these fantastic sculptures. And listen, we were always taught in school that St. Patrick got rid of lots of snakes. Did you get rid of all of them? Well, a few of them managed to arrive <laughs> into the city last night and uh, you'll see them on buildings like Cleary's and we have Central Plaza. 
The idea is the project is called Suntas, mm -hmm. and we were looking at ways of how we can, uh, you know, animate the city even further. And we have certain restrictions with the parade in terms of the route and height restrictions. So we just thought, why don't we look above and use gorgeous landmark buildings that we have? So Suntas is the Irish word for take notice, mm -hmm. and we want people to take notice and look up. But also it means to take notice of all the people around you and, and your, your environment. So you're going to see these monsters and they're here because our goddesses are arriving into okay. town today to slay them. Okay. Karen, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the day. You're very welcome, Di. <laughs> I'm over the moon because I am joined right now by Vera Pell, hello, by Diane Caldwell and Paula Gorham. Ladies. Thank you for joining me. How are we all feeling? Are you excited for today's festivities? Yeah, it's the first time that I'm uh, at St. Patrick's Day in Dublin, um, but I'm looking so forward. It's so humble, so proud uh, that I can lead the team out. Absolutely, like to be picked and selected as the Grand Marshals for the parade is just unbelievable. It's absolutely amazing, and I'm so humbled by it that me as a foreigner, that I can represent my team. Well, I just have to say, Vera, I'm absolutely loving the outfit. You're absolutely rocking it. <laughs> now, listen, I'm standing here beside Paul Agorm, who is literally a football icon, legend. You played in the first ever female international football match versus Wales when you were 16 and scored a hat-trick to boot. <laughs> like, you're a legend. What is it like seeing the advances in women's football for you now? Well, it's amazing the advances they've made and uh, I'm delighted for the girls that truly deserve it. And they have uh, wonderful backing and wonderful sponsorship, which they deserve, not like in my day. <laughs> I know, a lot has changed and we couldn't be prouder of them. Um, so obviously, you're going to be on the pitch. This is a little bit of a fangirl moment for me. I'm trying to keep my cool. So this summer, the World Cup. I mean, we've been waiting for a World Cup since 2002. So um, just you've got Nigeria, Canada, Australia in your pool. What's the feel of the team and, you know, what are our chances? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, we're absolutely buzzing for it, of course. We're super excited and can't wait to finally get over there. We've got lots of good games coming up, so good preparation ahead of us. And yeah, you know, it's a tough group. Uh, we're definitely underdogs, but, you know, as they say, you never want to beat or bet against the Irish. You never want to bet against the Irish boy. I tell you, I couldn't have said that better than myself. You are supported by an entire nation and some, so we wish you the best of luck. We certainly do wish them the very best of luck, and you're welcome to Dublin, Ireland's capital city, where we're preparing for our biggest day of the year. Half a million people expected on the streets of Dublin today. Look at them there. Some of them gathered since 8 a.m. this morning on the streets so you can, and here we have the motorcade signalling the arrival of Uktharan Heron Michael D. Higgins, August Aban Kayla Sabina Higgins. Big favourites with the crowd every year these two. The president elected in 2011 for the first time, ran for his second term in 2018, won the largest mandate in the history of Ireland that time with over 800,000 first preference votes. And as you'll hear, a big cheer for President Michael D. Higgins as he arrives onto O'Connell Street. Born in Limerick, of course, went to school in Clare, but we like to claim him in Galway. Uh, he gave long public service to Galway as a TD and Lord Mayor of Galway. And there he is saying hello to Marie Gallagher, see, chair of the acting chair of the board of St. Patrick's Festival. Over to Dahi. Very welcome. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, Ian Amour on Lay, Trish Tacht, and Tothra Michael D. Higgins, Agus Evan, Kayla, Sabina, Tothra Robert, Uchtron. The theme of today's parade is one, celebrating all the different traditions and uh, cultures we have in the country today. How important is it that we embrace it today and every day in Ireland? Well, to share tough a clock a less shag, the Wilmy de Carfolcher, Dramana, Agostini, Chuk, the Smaragurtru, a culture, Toka, as tradition of Kursi credit, er foot and down. Agas Akahoi, he come with a matter of Gwifne Gulnig, a Tusan Kircha Kacha, Vinis Modena, Serin, and a Kone, Asanilian, Shanama, Viren, Ilion Fain. 
So to an tradition that they market the migrant, to a shalomach in culture here. Sabina, today is a great day for our heritage, but also for the arts and culture. Uh, arts and culture play a vital part in our community and in our society today. Oh well, of course, it's a great fest. It's a great festival, and it's becoming even greater. But it's a, it's a great, uh, you know, celebration of our Irishness. So I just want to wish everybody best blessings to St Patrick, yes. and I, I wish for the Jerry Lettridge of a Sichon er, in Sundown, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, so just peace and. End of end of fighting and, and lots of war and have a great St Patrick's Day and Amen. celebrate it with all the wonderful music and everything. And I know people have a glorious time. There's fantastic music all around the town today. I walked around. So I didn't know that I didn't test on until ten after the talk with the Snugail and Sahanaid and I just come over to Snugail and talk to people down the road and have a big Yeah. Well, there's so long to make law. She a carta kilura kaka, a winning and law shags, winning and kilura sha, le hair in igni, one hair in igas comma no rugga genere and eat no, a glock should lish and tear and a casno, dinatafi kaurakaka hoire head as ne hair in ig, a harn and gob come to us no a cargaminic lena seal. Agasta sula maragut ma van kela, gamem with ig, chiakla kela sna blianta le kiatle. It goes to Shirkanta, Gan Gamakna, the Kagi Esso Yahartha, Gaskamem with an an, on Tau Kita, a chastal, don Eridan, don down Iliok, Akro. So be Glakimus Sholem Banat is come, Kahachit and a mesh of the Jennifer Kulura, on law special to Sha, Agaswinik, Glakalish Nafuntashi is Bunusi, the Mutna Marerene. There's something it's wonderful coming through the street. The, the people are so, and so many very young people, yes, and yes. they're all just so uh, enthusiastic. They're already like full of enjoyment. You so know? you're really, you're really looking forward to the whole parade, Sabina. Oh, I always do. I just see like lovely seeing people just being free and expressing their 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 Irishness and their their feeling of festival. You know. Mm -hmm. Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you let us talk to you and do your father's talk? Can you Na kunsta tjana is fed is feder gak kunsta kaharo agus mor gurt me har ein radelia eg sul la down shia kanta sawalta das gakten agus evad nis karman arabatashenes agus mak dere leshen kaga. Well, ocht ran agus mi bi chla unta hagiv agus banachti ne felle kuvbert. Mila buik. Alla va. Ti ha mesh or alta. Karma hagiv. Karma hagiv lads. The theme of this year's festival is one. One planet, one community, one heart. And we're going to shine a light on the artists and performers who have come together as one. Ninyart Gakur Lakela. There is strength in unity. Crossy, over to you, pal. Thanks, Emer. We're beside Parnell Square where the performers are getting ready. They're all buzzed to tell their stories and their mythical tales. The countdown is on to the St. Patrick's Festival Parade. Are we all buzzed, everybody? For over 80 million of you all around the world, you are very welcome. We're Giad Falta as the crowd is gathering here on O'Connell Street for the 2023 National St. Patrick's Day Festival Parade. The stage is set, our performers are ready to go. Please join us after the break for the St. Patrick's Festival Parade.
Welcome back to the St. Patrick's Festival Parade. Streets are filled with people. We're almost ready to go. I forgot about the 200s. The 200s. And welcome back to the St. Patrick's Festival Parade 2023. The streets are filled with people. We're nearly ready to go. So many of these young children actually queuing since early hours this morning. And there we can see the beautiful, uh, uh, the beautiful Lord Mayor's coach dating back to 1791, carrying the Lord Mayor, Caroline Conroy. It was made for the Lord Mayor by William Whitten, who was one of three coach builders based in Dublin's Dominic Street. At the time, would you believe that Dublin had a substantial coach building industry, an excellent reputation, and more than 1,900 men employed in up to 40 factories.
We were very worried today about the weather. Having looked at the weather, it looked like the rain was going to arrive just in time for the start of the parade and stop just as the parade finished up, but it has held off so far and it's looking good. As you can see the huge crowds gathered in Dublin city centre, it's hard to believe really that once upon a time there was only one day for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's now grown into a four-day festival since 1996 and last year it had a global reach of over 700 million people. Over that four-day event, music, dance, theatre, literature, food, wellness, anything you want, you can get over the four days of the St. Patrick's Day Festival. The parade today is going to run from Parnell Square on the north side in front of the President's Grandstand on O'Connell Street and then all the way up to Christchurch. Some special surprises await up at Christchurch today and it will finish then at Kevin Street. And look again at that carriage. It really is worth taking a good look at it. At the time, it cost £2,690, which, as you can imagine, an enormous sum in 1791. But it was considered good value in view of the marvellous paintings that you can see there and the carvings and its promotion of Dublin craftsmanship. We'll go to Dahi now, who's speaking to CEO of the St. Patrick's Festival, Richard Tierney. Thank you very much, Sarah. Yeah, I'm here with Richard. Richard, uh, this festival is bigger and better than ever. Tell us all about that. Yeah, definitely uh, bigger, definitely better, hopefully. Um, we've over 4,000 performers, with 15 marching bands, uh, seven pageants, eight creative pieces, brilliant new presenters from RT. Thank you very much. We have the fantastic Irish women's soccer team with the international guest of honour, Patrick Duffy, we also have well, people cleaning the streets. streets. Well. We people cleaning the streets. <laughs> Working we, very hard. Well done. We have the amazing fidget feet up in Christchurch, which you see soon, and we also have Suntus, which is the building takeover of the snakes you see down the end. So we've loads of stuff on. Loads of stuff on. Tell me, why is this day so important? It, because it's the national day, and it's a, a, for us, it's a real, real honour to produce the national day. It's also the start of the tourist season, so it's great to see, as you see, so many of them, and which is really important to our businesses and economy. And also, it is really for us, it's something that we can show globally and domestically all the creative and amazing cultural stuff we have in Ireland. So that's why it's so important. Now, you could say that, OK, everything's happening on St. Patrick's Day. Everyone comes into Dublin. They're going into different towns all around Ireland. But this is this festival is way bigger than one day, Richard, isn't it? Yeah, it's a four-day festival. I mean, obviously, this is the highlight. But we have Festival Quarter up in the National Museum in Collins Barracks, which is three days actually straight after. And we love everyone everywhere to come up with Collins Barracks for the Cayley Moore and traditional Irish music all day and night. And then we have the Pillow Queens tomorrow night. We also have... We all better hurry up. We also have the One City programme and the Old Flower Food Festival. So we've loads on. Well done, Richard. Congratulations. Brilliant. Thanks a million. Thanks, guys. Cheers. And here we have the Dublin Fire Brigade, Colour Party and Honour Guard. And the crowd delighted to see a band having waited for hours and hours this morning. And they're giving them quite a show. You may have seen there while he was talking to Richard Cherney, the Fire Brigade mascot, a beautiful Irish wolfhound that goes by the name of Koo. He's well looked after by Kathleen Kelly in Nutstown Kennels. The Grand Marshal leading the Dublin Fire Brigade marching body is recently retired firefighter Shane McGill from Fibsborough Fire Station. And Dublin Fire Brigade, of course, has celebrated over 150 years of service. The largest full-time fire brigade in the country. And don't they look well? So there are all the people that are gathered here in Ireland today, but Irish people from all over the world have been in touch as well to wish everyone at home a very happy St. Patrick's Day. Have a look at this. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Dublin, Georgia. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Colombia. To all the DCs in Tanakilty. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Paris. Love, Philip, Pori, Conajeev. John Greenick Tatnav, 
spectrometer of Windermick and shows us a Sahara Desert. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all our family in Ireland from the Hattieses in Minnesota, USA. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone in Ireland. Greetings to the Greers, Kennedys, Reddicks and Stack families. Enjoy your day. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Virginia! Isn't that just wonderful? When we think of the diaspora, sometimes we forget just how many, how varied, how wide. And we have here now the Irish and International Defence Forces Veterans Association, the Irish Unit and Corps Veterans Association, men and women who've contributed to invaluable peacekeeping missions all over the world. Veterans associations play a really huge role in the lives of the veterans, offering advice, acting as an important support to retired soldiers and their families. We'll go to Dahi now, uh, who's speaking to Paul Kelly from Fault Ireland. Yeah, I'm the CEO of Fault Ireland uh, here, Paul Kelly. Paul, how are you? Very good at that. Tawana sa osarm bound sha na kaj special te sha agus banik di law fail Paul Jacar dahi agus er Luke Fekna. On the bag agus kormi la mahagat. Paul, tell me how many people are we expecting here today, and what does it mean to the city of Dublin? Uh, it's a fantastic uh, event here today. We're expecting about 500,000 people in Dublin between visitors and locals coming out to this fabulous spectacle. And, and on top of that, of course, we're going to have tens of thousands at festivals and parades all around the country. So a fantastic day. For, uh, for Ireland today. Uh, is it a fantastic day? I'd imagine it is for Fault Ireland. Yes, yeah, so look, I mean, we're, we're here to help develop the tourism economy in Ireland. This is worth about 50 million to the uh, to the tourism economy here in Dublin uh, this, this weekend alone. And of course, St. Patrick's Day marks the, the beginning of the tourism season for the year. So this is when it really kicks off. We've got so many people from all over the world. Today, uh, here in Dublin, uh, Fault Ireland, we're hosting about 45 journalists from, uh, from countries from all over the world, from the US, Canada, Great Britain, Denmark, Netherlands, and they've got an audience of about 22 million. So of course, and the, the great scenes are gonna be broadcast from all, all over the world. And that's gonna send, show what a great place Ireland is to visit, the great fun we have and the great culture we have. We, we are quite unique. I don't think there's a, there's a country anywhere else in the world, Paul, that has a day like this that will have cameras from all around the world focusing in on us and just beamed all around and all of a sudden people would be at home watching. Do you know what? I'm going to go to Ireland on the holidays because it looks like a bit of crack. Absolutely, yes. I mean, as well as, well, of course, of all the work that goes on here and the fantastic work by St. Patrick's Festival here in Dublin, you know, the Team Ireland is out there all around the world. All of the government ministers, the Department of Foreign Affairs, all of the overseas agencies, the marketing agencies, the industrial development agency, etc. They're all out there selling Ireland today. And that is so important to us as a nation, building those relations. And no other country has that type of global impact that we have today. So for, for a small nation, it's fantastic for us and really good at, at attracting both inward investment and inward visitors to come to, come to Ireland. Paul, well, thank you very much and have a great day. The dogs there are getting some of the best uh, cheers of the day so far on the street. Now a chance for you at home to enter our competition. Take a look at this. We want one lucky viewer to win their very own Puta Oer this St. Patrick's Day as we have a massive 5,000 euro Coog Vila Euro cash prize up for grabs. Book a fabulous Irish holiday with your family this summer, splash the cash on redecorating your home or simply save it all. What you do with all this money is up to you. So to be in with a chance to win 5,000 euro, Shohi and Chest. Which one of these is a symbol of Ireland? Is it a shamrock? a maple leaf, or a kiwi bird? If you know the answer, call 1517 71 71 77 or text the word parade followed by your answer and name to 57117. Calls from the air network will cost you two euro and three cent. Calls from other networks may be higher. You must be over 18 to enter. Lines will close at midday on Monday the 20th of March. More details on rte.ie forward slash competitions where the lucky winner will also be revealed. Good night, relive. Well, I'm looking all the way down O'Connell Street now. There's the Garda uh, marching band, but right down the end of O'Connell Street, I can see the pageants, they're coming, the big bands, they're coming. Stay with us. We're going to be showing you them all right after this break.
Just stick a walk in. <laughs> Isn't this a lovely car? We're like a newly married couple. <laughs> So that very simple question. Are you enjoying the whole parade? Are they looking forward whatever to the you, World Cup? You, you know ask. you know yourself, Vera. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. We only have original round and once you turn on the best morning speech. Okay. <clears throat> And I'm so happy that the day stayed dry. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We have Vera Powell here. Vera, what do you think of this? It's just above any expectation. What a party, what a fest. It's just unbelievable. This, this is a good start, really, for our celebrations we're going to have for the, for the World Cup. You know that? Yeah, well, if this is, is it, if this is a start-up of the celebration, yes. then what, we, what we, are we going to get in the summer? It is, only, it is only the tip of the iceberg, just to <laughs> let you know. So they said they'd bring you here today just to show you what we can do. And then when we win the World Cup, it'll be ten times bigger. What do you think of that? <laughs> that would be amazing. But let's not, let's not um, jump too, head, too far yeah. ahead. It's very difficult in the World Cup, but we will make Ireland proud. Yes, <laughs> and uh, I'd imagine you and all your family are very, very proud. You've been the Grand Marshal this year. Just I, I cannot express my feelings. It's, I'm so humbled that as a foreigner I, I'm sitting here and with all the support that I get um, from the Irish people around me in this year and then this and, and being the marshal is just phenomenal. I have no words for it. Vera, thank you very much. The best of luck in the World Cup and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, and thank you for having me Not here. At all. Thank, thank you. you. Great to have you. Oh. And here we have the first big band of the St. Patrick's Day Festival.
the pride of Bixby all the way from Oklahoma, USA. guest with them today doesn't he Akantha tell us about her yes well, this is a um, Genevieve Keen and she is a student from Perlis and she is with Joan Couture and this is one of her designs that she won an award for last year in 2022 it's called Akantha because it is inspired by the Acanthus flower which represents St. Patrick and she's handmade this new magnificent dress 1500 beads hand woven beads on that dress actually amazing Pride of Bixby getting a huge cheer from the crowd. They've grown to be one of the largest programs in the state of Oklahoma. And 30 years ago, just 40 students. Today they have 275. that song you're right that's uptown funk one of my favorite songs composed by mark ronson and the pride of bigsby from oklahoma will also today be playing oklahoma another one of my favorite songs both very different karen but <laughs> yeah, sure great songs you know that there's a band competition happening as well at the moment we have adjudicators from all over the world and we have our first female adjudicator here today um major lauren uh, patritz watts from the uk and they are judging all the bands for a competition. Yeah, this is very special. This is our first pageant today. We are one same, from the St. Patrick's Festival Community Arts, supported by Dublin City Council. Karen, tell us a little bit about this. Yes, yeah, so this is our opening pageant from our own St. Patrick's Festival Community Arts. This is Eru, and she's opening the pageant. She is creation, and she is a beginning of Ireland and she's flanked by her goddess sisters Fola and Bamba and this is Dee Armstrong and she's actually the main singer of Keela so we invite her to perform today so one of the ideas behind this is that we've forgotten some of our own gods here in Ireland isn't it with the children know all about gods like Zeus and Norse gods like Loki from Marvel movies uh, but have forgotten some of the goddesses of Era. Absolutely. We, um, we have been inspired today by the book Girls Who Slay Monsters by the author Ellen uh, Ryan. And I just loved that book because it just brought all our ancient gods and goddesses uh, to, to life in a modern way. So you'll have goddess of the refugees, of the eco-warriors and things like that. So these are our farmers here who are working with Eru to till the land and, and get the soil ready for growth. It really does tie in with the whole theme of this year's St. Patrick's Festival Parade. We are one, celebrating the diversity of what it means to be Irish. Irish gods, some of them, like St. Patrick, didn't start their lives in Ireland. Exactly, and actually there's, you know, originally a lot of the gods came from Spain or Iran to come and work with Eru to help her create the land. So it, it feels like it's got a modern day story too, because this is also about us welcoming in new communities at the moment. This is Machnus, our Machnus drummers. I'm well familiar with Machnus, hailing from Galway. Always fantastic. It's great to have them back in the parade. The music on this section actually opened up by a um, piece by Crash Ensemble with Lisa Hannigan and also then went into a Keela piece. So the music has been curated by Aoife Woodlock. <laughs> 
Let's just have a listen to those drums. Yeah. So what do we have coming here? So the children will love that guy. I know, exactly. So you've just seen the past. So that's all about creation. This is about the, pa the, the present. So you're going to see this is our demon's battle float. And this is where our goddesses are fighting the demons of today. This is Bab, who's also part of the triptych of Morrigan. And she is the harbinger of doom. And she's telling us all, if we don't watch out, <laughs> <laughs> So you can see there you've got all of the, the demons, which are like the modern day fear bullock. And they are just, it's vanity and pride and we're spending too much, pay here. And these are all the hyenas who are greedy. And, and well, the message is pretty clear here, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Massive cash register. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, Dahi is down on the street speaking to Ellen Ryan. We have Ellen Ryan here, who is the author of Girls Who Slay Monsters. Ellen, how are you keeping? Great, thank you very much for having me here. here. You have your beautiful book there, but that's only the book form of it. But that's kind of, it's been lived out in front of us. It's been brought to life in front of my eyes. It's, I'm, it's surreal. I'm so honoured. And when did you get the call to say that this was happening? Uh, about three weeks ago, yeah. So I couldn't quite believe it. Um, I'm just so honoured to see our Irish goddesses brought to life today. Um, they've been so overlooked for so long. We learn so much more about Greek gods in, in school or Norse gods in Marvel movies. Um, but our own uh, ancestors, Christian scribes, not unlike St. Patrick, uh, preserved these stories for us. Um, and they weaved these uh, goddesses into stories with St. Patrick himself. Um, you know, they, they wanted us to know these stories and it's our birthright to know them. So I'm pr so proud to see this today. And do you know what, I was thinking about this during the week when I heard we were going to be chatting to you, and I just don't understand why we've ignored these goddesses. I think this is the thing, I think for a long time they were viewed as culturally less important than the Greek gods, and they certainly haven't seemed to uh, take off the way Thor and Loki have in Marvel movies, but in fact our own gods have the most rich, empowering stories to tell. They're so connected to our landscape as well, and they really teach us uh, to respect our hills, our rivers, our environment, which is so relevant today. Is there any goddess that stands out to you as the main goddess? Uh, I mean, there's the, all of the goddesses are so important and so incredibly diverse. And I think that's really important to say, the pageant today, we are one. Um, it, you know, this was so important to me to show just how inclusive these goddesses are. Like St. Patrick, they didn't all come from Ireland. They came from Iran. They came, our farming goddess came from Spain. Skosniev was a refugee who actually sought help from St. Patrick. So I think it's just so reflective of the society we live in now in Ireland. And it's a beautiful side of our mythology. It's a lot more diverse than other pantheons. Uh, Ellen, loads of people from around the world will be watching this. I'd imagine Hollywood producers will be watching this. Okay, we like the book, we like the we like the parade party, we can make a move out of it. But Ellen, we have to leave there. Thank you very much and continued success. Thank you very much for having me. And here we have the Clendalkin, we have the Clendalkin Youth Band, their 33rd time performing in Dublin Parade. First for their new director, Mr. Neil Christopher. Neil has a lovely story, doesn't he? Uh, he met his wife in the Clendalkin Youth Band 25 years ago, can you believe it? And here he is now, directing the band 25 years later. He says that the night he met his wife, Tara, he, it was a better night, a more special night than he could ever have imagined. Yeah, he just took over as a new director from Vincent Dolan, who retired last year after 37 years. That's dedication, isn't it? <laughs> We had the band's reception yesterday in the Mansion House and all of the band directors came together and met the Lord Mayor, so it was really nice to bring everyone and to get their certificate of taking part in the festival and get to meet each other. Do we have here <laughs> very special editions uh, to celebrate 100 years of Disney. Disney is uh, participating, as you can see in the parade today. There is Mickey and Minnie Mouse. 
And you know, there's an Irish link here now as well, isn't there? Because uh, Walt Disney uh, was an American, but his great-grandfather, Arundel Elias Disney, emigrated from Ireland to North America with his family in 1834. Yes, and his Irish-born son, Keppel, he married another Irish-born emigrant, Mary Richardson, and their eldest son, Elias, became Walt's father. So there is a huge Irish connection, and I really think it's that Irish storytelling shanaki that was in their bones yeah, that yeah. drifted all the way over to America. And here we have Disney 100 years later. Well, it wasn't an easy start for Walt because he initially developed this character called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And then he lost the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and a lot of his employees were poached in a big corporate dispute, very undisney like and then he went on and he developed a new character. What was the character called? Mortimer Mouse. <laughs> Doesn't it quite have the catchiness to it, does no. it? No. <laughs> uh, so they decided, rightly, thank God, that Mickey was a better moniker. And Mickey Mouse made his official debut in 1928 in a short film titled Steamboat Willie. One of the first cartoons ever to use synchronised sound effects. Did you know that Walt Disney said in a 1933 interview that, in case you were ever wondering, yes, Mickey is married to Minnie. <laughs> Look at them there. Did they share a kiss? I think they did. What's your favourite Disney movie? Uh, I think it's Frozen at the moment, despite having two little boys at home who tell me that it's just for girls every time I turn it on. I know. They're, they're sucked right in. I think when you have kids again, as you get older, you rediscover the magic of Disney, don't you? You forget how wonderful it is, and it's, it, it's timeless. Well, you can see that in the Oscar wins. 22 wins for Disney. Holds the record for the most individual Oscar wins at 22. And, of course, they won the Best Picture nomination for Mary Poppins in 1964, another timeless movie. Hmm. They did a remake of it. They're doing lots of remakes. It's, it's great to see. Now, who do we have coming here? Look at the wonderful day that we got in the end. Um, everyone's talking about the weather. It's not like us here in Ireland to obsess about the weather, but particularly on St. Patrick's Day, it really does matter. And we have the Apache Bells all the way from Texas. Yes, and they are they're in front of Purdue Band, but they've been performing this routine for the Purdue performance as well. And they have been performing since 1947, so it's... Uh, around a long time. Have you ever tried gymnastics, Karen? No. <laughs> I gave it a go once. You know, it's much harder than it looks. The discipline that's required and the strength and the patience. If only. Yeah, I'd be more of a football person myself. <laughs> <laughs> Kick a ball around. And they also get to wave the pom-poms around. Another uh, thing that I never managed to do. They have a famous high kick. We might yet get to see it. That have been thrilling fans across the globe, as Karen said, for almost 60 years. Now, look at this. We saw this drum a little earlier. This is the drum of Purdue University, the All-American Marching Band. So this is three metres tall. So they say, so they don't allow it to be measured. Yeah. It's, a, it's a state secret. I wonder will he hit it again first. And do you know that the crew are interviewed for this role of ma managing and minding and pushing and performing with this drum? There's a certain criteria. There's athletic standards, there's public relations training you have to do and an attitude check. I think it's physic a military physical standards that they have to reach to roll the drum. And within there, we have some more wonderful cheerleaders leading the band. Yeah, there's 393 performers in this band today. This is the largest band we have on the British. It's really exciting. When we get these numbers through, we know that we have these huge bands. It's, it's great. And they're always amazing performers. Everything is in unison. They're, syn they're synchronized perfectly together. They were the first marching band in the United States to break military ranks in the football field and form the letter P. Let's take a look.
They just fantastic, such a spectacle, and the noise here on the streets, just the real thundering boom of the drums and the instruments, it's really something, Karen, isn't it? Yeah, it's the scale and the intensity of them all together, the huge big instruments, the way they're performing together in unison, it's just such a show. It's a really big deal for these bands, isn't it? Coming to Ireland, many of them save up for years, they do fundraising, they do all of that to try and get themselves over here. Yes, they. There could be what well, is 300 in this, nearly 400 in this band. There could be a thousand people travelling, so that is an expensive trip, and it would take them about three or four years to fundraise through their alumni. They do fundraising, you know, in the college or whatever. So we really thank them for coming all this way because it really helps make the parade what it is. Ah, uh, here's something else that I never got to do: <laughs> <laughs> the Twirl Ireland Federation showing us their skills. They're celebrating 50 years of baton twirlers and majorettes in Ireland. I think you're going to have to um, extend your bucket list there, Sarah. You <laughs> <laughs> on now. And following the Twirl Ireland Federation, we have another big band. This is the Pride of Owasa High School Band. 240 in their number. It's their third time performing in Dublin. They previously marched in 2014 and in 1979. So they don't come that often. Yes, it's, uh, we might see yeah, bands come like maybe three or four times maximum in their lifetime. So it's, it's, they're doing well to get over here again. There is a, 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 a performer called Will McCoy. He's playing quads in the percussion section. And his two older brothers, Mark and Davis, were part of the band in 2014. And their mother was also part of the band when she appeared in the parade in 1979. She played the flute. So hi, Sarah McCoy. Hello to Sarah. Let's have a look. Now, for the first time ever, we're going over to our team at Christchurch. How's it going over there, Crossy? I'm here at Christchurch, everybody, and the atmosphere is electric. The parade is just coming up onto us now. The people have been queuing here for hours. It's about 10 deep the whole way down to St. Patrick's Cathedral, everybody. Now, I know there's loads of people watching all over the world, from Castlebar to Zanzibar, but one thing I know is for sure is Emer is on the streets chatting to somebody. Emer, how are you getting on? Hello, I am here outside Christchurch and the energy is mighty, lads. I'm surrounded Hello. by... 
Woo! <laughs> I'm surrounded here by an amazing group of people all the way from Oklahoma. So listen, let's let's do our thing, yeah? Ready? Let's go. O K L A H O M A. Spells Oklahoma. I promise. That was not rehearsed. That was not rehearsed. So listen, your son is actually in the parade, am I right? Yes, that's correct. And how are you feeling? Are you excited? Are you I'm nervous? I'm excited. It's wonderful. I love the vibe. It's amazing to be here. Woo! I'm coming over to you. Tell me, are you excited to be here in Ireland? It's your first time? Yeah. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, seeing my brother in the parade. Seeing your brother in the parade. Uh, will you stop? Guys, welcome to Ireland. I hope you have a great time. We've got this lovely band coming by us now. All the way from Oklahoma, baby. Have a great day. Let's go. Hey! Give me a happy day. <laughs> They're certainly having a great time up there in Christchurch. And some special surprises to come from Christchurch a little later on. But right now, here on O'Connell Street, we have Wee Bug Outdoor Arts from Wexford. And this is a future that moves us, Karen. Yes, yeah, so this is supported by Kia Ireland, who are a parade partner. You see a QR code here, and this whole pageant is looking around what the future is in, in store for us, in the near future. So we're looking at technology and art and how they are going to be more engrossed together than ever before. So you have a big, giant QR code here. Yeah, because it's funny, you sometimes think technology and art, they don't really mix. And then you see chat GBT, if anyone's tried it, and you describe a picture and it draws the picture for you and you wonder where it all ends. Look at those uh, bees <laughs> having a wonderful yeah. time on top of the QR code. Well, sure, why wouldn't they? Exactly. We Bullock are from Wexford and they are a staple with us every year. They're a fantastic pageant company. And uh, they, have, they work with community groups as well, who are all the performers here today. That is a huge QR code, really, isn't it? Because, I mean, there's, there's a certain height limit on how high they can go, but that is, that is really enormous. Yeah, scale is really important when you're looking at pageantry, um, just, you know, everyone to see it and just to have that wow factor. Well, if you're talking about nature, look what's coming next. This is section two of this particular pageant, and it's a future with nature. It's imagining what Dublin might look like if our landmark spaces became entwined with nature. You're going to see the uh, Daniel O'Connell Monument, see it there and see entwined with nature and you even have some moving statues on the monument yes so this is like how you know we can work together with nature so let's have more nature in the city and it's you know taking over the daniel o'connell statue which is right behind in the background yeah, there which that's is quite great. a shot and you have the uh, the actually moving statues here and daniel o'connell was actually a lord mayor of dublin back in 1841 let's do a little bit of research and some interesting information the liberator as he's known um, but just looking at nature and the city, I mean, we have Phoenix Park just up the road, yeah. and that is our largest enclosed park in in a capital city in Europe. And you can see as well how quickly nature can return to the city because uh, we saw it during the pandemic, didn't we, in cities around Ireland? Not to mention the pandemic, but uh, we saw foxes return, we saw foliage return. It can happen. Oh, look at the height limit there. <laughs> <laughs> that is just measure to perfection. Absolutely. There are lots of parks in the city, actually, and I do love my own local park up around Crumlin. It's 59 community parks and 228 um, uh, parks all around the wider Dublin area. Now, this is section three of the pageant. It's called A Future with Oceans. And this is a giant techno shark inspired by these robotic waste, waste sharks that actually exist that go around cleaning plastic from our oceans. And this is a giant shark float. The idea is reflecting, Karen, the fragility of the environment, how human innovation is also creating solutions to try and save our oceans. Yes, and Kia are a supporter of the Ocean Cleanup um, charity. So that's what inspired us to go down this road. And I just love the idea that there are these amazing technological sharks cleaning up our oceans. There's a lot of work to do, but it's great to hear that these um, innovations are out there. And you'll just see all these different characters that they've, they've been inspired by the story.
because, you know, climate change, the conversation around it and pollution, it can sometimes feel all very hopeless. So it's really nice to know and to be reminded of all the work that's been done by humanity to try and, I suppose, undo some of the damage that we've done. The idea of the ocean cleanup using some of these sharks is to be able to remove 90% of floating ocean plastic by 2040. Now, of course, we need to stop putting it in as well, but uh, we need to get it out, and these are the sharks that can do it. Yeah, and you'll see some um, coral pieces there in the pink, and that's just showing how important coral is to the, um, the environment. The forest of the oceans. Exactly. These are all handmade. All handmade in the studio in the warehouse down in Waterford, or in Wexford, sorry. It's just amazing to see. We get updates every week and how everything's coming along. It's unbelievable to, to, to know that these are, they're just one off. Yeah. The amount of work that goes into everything that we're seeing in the parade here today. That shark is just passing us here on our bus. Can you hear the beat of the Burlington Teen Tour Band? all the way from Ontario in Canada. 115 among their members, all dressed in red and navy. They previously performed in the Double Parade in 2013 and in 1998. And this is their third time lucky. They tried to come here in 2020, didn't happen. 2021, didn't happen. So they've managed to make it here today and they're going to make the best of it. They're going to tour Ireland for 12 days performing in Cove, Kilkenny and Sligo. Let's have a listen. Nothing like a big band, is there? And behind them there, you can see the St. Patrick's Festival dance troupe featuring the Four Dance, uh, dance Academy, Dublin Four Dance Academy, excuse me. This is to signify the partnership we have ongoing with Irish Ferries, which is really important because there's a lot of um, grandstands and things that come over on the Ferry Food Festival. Well, those girls are giving it loads. Aren't they brilliant? <laughs> and a big cheer as well. Well deserved. The route is 3.2 kilometres, so they have a long road to go and they're great, full of energy, loads of exercise. And I mean, they get up early, Karen, don't they? And no matter what the weather is, they're ready to go. And you do all this um, practicing as well and rehearsals. Like, it's a really big production. Yeah, I, there's a lot of prep before Christmas, but then once it hits January, everybody's meeting up. Could be twice a week, three times a week rehearsing. And then it's costumes, planning makeup, and then it's the logistics around how to get here. <laughs> Just <laughs> the fun part. And is there any way of rehearsing the actual big pageants of the parade we would do that in sections and maybe if you're lucky and you have the right location we can get everybody together at uh, once in advance 
but um, that can be difficult. And we normally do rehearsals of floats okay. one day. Uh, we've Dahi down the street. He's talking to Bridie O'Reilly of Curious State. Here with the band some of the some of the greatest rockers in town. We have Bridie O'Reilly here. Bridie, how are you? I am very, very well. Thank you, thank you, everyone, for having me here. I'm so excited. Come here, Bridie. Can I like I, I never I, I don't want to ask a lady her age, okay? But can you tell me what age you are? Well, you know a lady never reveals her age, but I'm 92. I'm a I'm a fresh 92. A fresh 92. You're a fresh and sprightly 92. Come here. Is this is this your first outing, Bridie? Is it? My, sorry, what? Is this your first outing? My first outing, my first rock band. Oh, I'm so excited to rock on. To rock on! What else is on your bucket list, Brady? My bucket list. I, my number one on my bucket list is to join a rock band, and today I got that wish. I am so, so excited. Come here, do you love Brady? Oh, you love me? Oh, they all love Brady. I must, you, I must tell you, my other number one on my bucket list is to meet you, the man in Oh! Here, Brady. Oh, Brady, baby. Brady, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the market for a second husband. <laughs> well, uh, we'll leave Dahi to get uh, more familiar with 92 year old Bridie O'Reilly from Shamrock and Curious State because now we have the Mountain West All Star Band. Here they come. And again, look at the spectacle of this, Karen. It really is just something else. First time to Dublin. So welcome the Mountain West All-Star Band from California. So this is a slightly different type of band because they're actually comprised of 300 performers from 10 different universities uh, from the Mountain West Football Conference. So they have performers ranging in age from 18 to 23, representing every major degree program on the different campuses, but they're coming from loads of different states, not just California, Colorado, Nevada, Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming. And today they're playing Go Big or Go Home by the American authors. Let's have a listen now to the Mountain West All-Star Band. quite the move. It's amazing how they stay so synchronized for the whole parade. It takes huge concentration and stamina. Now, this is who I've been looking forward to possibly most of the whole parade. This is the France-Ireland Breaking Project, supported by the French Embassy. Um, and this is ahead, of course, of the Olympic and Paralympic Games in 2024, because breakdancing is a whole new Olympic sport. So among those that we have participating today is B-girl Marlene Spar and B-boy Amadou Niasse.
breakdancing made his debut at the Olympic uh, Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires in 2018 and was hugely popular. And therefore, he made it into the real Olympics or the adult Olympics. We had the Marist High School Band all the way from Chicago, Illinois in the USA. Founded by Mr. Frank Manna in 1963. Let's have a listen. It's their first time performing in the Dublin Parade. Their very gracious alumni donated over $200,000 to try to help the students make that very special trip. They're playing Irish Review by Graeme T. Overgaard. They've also performed Karen on The Tonight Show and at Disney World every couple of years. We'll go over to Christchurch now, see what Crossy's getting up to. We are in full swing here in Christchurch, everybody. I'm beside Travis, I'm beside Rachel. Where are you from, guys? We're from uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Amazing, amazing. What has you over here? What's that? What has you over here? Uh, I mean, where would you rather be on St. Patrick's Day than the heart of Dublin, Ireland? I mean, where else would you want to be, right, guys? Amazing, I have a beautiful story over here, everybody. Her name is Asia. Asia, three generations, shout them out to us. Oh. Who have you got here? You, uh, your yes, mom? my mom and my granddad. Uh, we're all, my great great grandfather's from Donegal, and we're all from Austin, Texas. Hook them horns. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. It's over to Emer now, talking to more people. It's actually over to me, Crossy, because we've aliens and they've descended upon O'Connor Street here. This is under new management and Spree, the Waterford Acad Academy of Music and Art, supported by Falsha Ireland. Tell us what we're seeing here, Karen. Yes, yeah, so this is Spree's reinterpretation of, of We Are One, and it's about aliens coming down because they're tired of looking at us making um, a mess of what we're doing with the planet, and they're coming back to take over. I see a team here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you'll see here the the, the, the the globe with all of the performers in it, and you'll see the galactic uh, governor is coming up next. And he's come down, he's going to put manners on us. Is there an a, a celebrity pop star alien coming up? <laughs> yeah, he's inside the globe there. Is that him? He's a pop star. Look at him. He yeah, looks like this average pop star. Yeah. And he's performing his hit song, Macau. How could humans resist such a catchy tune? <laughs> Come to woo us and... <laughs> and here we have a giant alien float called the Galactic Governor. He's the big boss. He's here to oversee the new regime that we're all going to have to live under. He's over four meters high. Kids can't keep their eyes off him. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's all, again, handmade down in their studio down in Waterford. They do, always do amazing job. And all the, the masks are, are personally made for every single performer, so they fit their exact shapes. Face. It really is spectacular, isn't it? Four months in the planning, designing and building the pageant. Spree won their own big event in August as well, the August Bank Holiday weekend, uh, the Spree Festival. And all the other people uh, involved in the in the in that pageant as well. 60 cast members, every costume individually designed and fitted to every single cast member. Yes, that's the thing with the parades. We would give funding to the pageants and then they create for 17th March, but then they go off and they hire it out and, and use it again. Here we have the Cathedral High School Parade, uh, uh, Pride of the Irish Band. This is all the way from Indiana in the USA. Let's have a listen. A 
It will go to Emer now in Christchurch. I am here joined by some of the girls from Lark View Football Club. Ladies, let's say hey! Vera, you are a crowd play, uh, pleaser, baby. I am just so happy to see you guys. I want you to give me a few words. Uh, say, <laughs> happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Isn't that wonderful? The people that are looking forward to seeing Vera Pows shows what a difference it makes. If you see it, you can be it. What do we have here? The Inish Own Carnival, a Donegal Strange Creatures. I was speaking to Kevin O'Neill, one of the artistic directors of this, a little earlier on. Um, and look at some of these very strange creatures. What do you think, Karen? Oh, I just love the colour. The colour is amazing, especially on a, a great day like today. This is what this is looking at the creatures that might evolve from things like climate change and stuff like that and how we all these new characters are coming up. Yeah, it's back to this theme of diversity on planet Earth and the weird and wonderful creatures that can emerge from the undergrowth, how people and creatures change and adapt. Now let's hear another chance to see some Irish people around the world celebrating some St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day from the Irish in Rutherford, New Jersey. Yay! Happy St. Patrick's Day from Germany and happy St. Patrick's Day to some doctors and all our friends. Feliz Dia del Santo Patricio. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Bogota, Colombia. To all our friends and family back home. Happy St. Patrick's Day. From you, Photo Cash. Law Hela Fodric, Honadi of Illig, or Stockholm. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you, too. Again, so amazing to see everyone from around the world. Now, this is the Spruce Creek High School. They're from Florida in the USA. 125 among them. Uh, Florida, of course, just miles from Daytona Beach. This school has a population of over 2,500 students. They just do it bigger in the US. Let's have a listen. And following the Spruce Creek High School, we have Ishka Vale, the magic of the Dublin Canals. This is supported by Waters Waterways Ireland. And you can see there a 13 foot tall, you'll see it in a second, giant puppet. Oh, they're fishing. <laughs> This is looking oh, at the, something. Yeah, the Dublin <laughs> Canals, everything you'll find on the Dublin Canals. Oh, well, that's quite a mixture, isn't it? The idea is to look at the way the canals are enjoyed with the kayaker and swans, the young couple enjoying poetry, and here is the 13-foot tall giant puppet brought to life by a little girl as she wanders the canals. Yes, it's her imaginary friend. And she's surrounded by the wildlife and the swans and the lovers taking a stroll. And this guy's going to be up in Festival Quarter later on as well, actually, doing a performance in the National Museum of Ireland. I mean, that takes some coordination from the people operating him to get him to move like that. Yes, six puppeteers with him. The concentration and the stamina of the people involved. And look at the detail on him. This is the sound and spirit of Columbus Marching Band from Indiana, USA. It's a combined marching band of students from Columbus East and Columbus North High School. That's a massive.
and following up close behind, we have the Dublin Pride part of this pageant. One community, many voices. This is from Dublin LGBTQ plus Pride. Always so colourful, without fail, every year. We've got performers this year from Mexico, Spain, England, Scotland, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Nigeria, India, El Salvador, and of course, all parts of Dublin and Ireland. And they're celebrating some important anniversaries this year, aren't they, Karen? It's uh, 50 years since the first LGBTQ plus group in Dublin was established in Trinity College, 40 years since the famous Fairview March and the first Dublin Pride Parade, and 30 years since Ireland decriminalised homosexuality. And look at the colour. It's fantastic, and it's led by Eddie McGinn as well, of Pride. And he's been in the parade for 23 years. That globe is really quite something, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so it's celebrating the colour all over the world. I mean, there's more nationalities in this pride celebration today than in any other parade. Really? Yeah, that's great. From all over the world, uh, participants today. Speaking of detail and costumes, <laughs> my goodness. So one of the things that Globe is to remind us of is that while we are one community with many voices, it's also to remind us that some countries still criminalise LGBTQ plus people. Yes, so it's even more important as part of our message of one. We are all one. <laughs> will the crowd get involved? I'm sure they will. If the theme is all 80s music. They've been rehearsing this for the last few months. Eddie there has been choreographing everybody. He's having great fun. And this is, this is I'm possibly my winning outfit. I just can't get over it. It's unbelievable. Oh, Stay with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break.
one last chance for you at home to enter our competition. So to be able to chance to win 5,000 euro, Shohian Hesht. Which one of these is a symbol of Ireland? Is it a shamrock, a maple leaf or a kiwi bird? If you know the answer, call 1517 71 71 77 or text the word parade followed by your answer and name to 57117. Calls from the air network will cost you two euro and three cent. Calls from other networks may be higher. You must be over 18 to enter. Lines will close at midday on Monday the 20th of March. More details on rte.ie forward slash competitions where the lucky winner will also be revealed. Good night, relive. And you're welcome back to Dublin's O'Connell Street for the St. Patrick's Festival 2023. Uh, some amazing bands have walked uh, on these streets today. And coming up now, we're going to have Artastic in just one moment. They're going to be presenting a wonderful world. You can see people are having a great time, Karen. And they really, they deserve it. You know, like those people who, that you can see there, they've been there for hours now. And they seem to have enjoyed every single minute of it. Yeah, it's great to see. People come from all over the world. I mean, this is the biggest celebration, national celebration, I think, in the world at St. Patrick's Day. Well, I was saying earlier, a reach, a global reach of up to 700 million. I mean, it's really hard to get your head around uh, with places all over the world, as you say, turning green and people coming here and walking the streets, just hearing all the different accents and the excitement and the sense of energy and anticipation. And certainly the parade today really hasn't let anyone down. having a bit of an old rest that <laughs> she deserves it. Now here we have, as I said, wonderful world from Artastic. And this is good to create a colorful pageant again to celebrate our theme for this year, the theme of one and in looking at the world and all the aspects of the, the diverse culture that we share. And you can see some diversity here and some color here again, Karen. Yeah, this is Venezuelan Roots are leading it out here and they're celebrating their El Callao Festival in Venezuela. Got that pronouncing right. I love the idea of the El Callao Festival. It's huge in Venezuela. Yeah, and I think that's what this whole thing is about. Like They're celebrating their traditions. It's actually a UNESCO uh, celebrated event now. And it's what we do here for St. Patrick's. And all over the world, everybody celebrates their traditions. You know, so it's... Um, it's, it's all coming together and sharing each other's cultures is important. Oh God, I might have spotted my next favourite outfit. <laughs> the, our last person from the Pride Parade might have been usurped because look at some of these outfits and some of the detail again. Uh, as you say, uh, this is the El Callao Carnival and the parades are led by the Madamas uh, who dance and they're wearing those beautiful colourful dresses. And then you have the Medio Pintos who are young people that entertain the audience by smudging charcoal on people who don't give a donation. <laughs> and then you have the Moneros, who are the gold miners, and the Diablos, who wear masks, dance, and carry whips to maintain order. Wouldn't mind to be allowed to carry a whip to maintain order. Who's allowed? It's not. They have collaborated with Artastic today, and you can see here the, the mask coming ahead. This is also just representing all the different types of celebrations in the world. So you've got a, a Venetian mask here coming up. Yeah, and those masks, as you say, they're a representation of the different colours as seen in the use of those masks and the unique way that each culture celebrates. over 30 different community groups uh, taking part in the parade today, which is great. From Moldova, Latvia, Lithuania. Lots of new new community groups this year, isn't there? Yes. Uh, Georgia, they're new to us this year as well. Um, so it's, it's lovely and we do get, you know, interest every year and it's great to bring them in. The crowd are really loving these guys, and why wouldn't they? Mm. Just the street painted in colour. Yeah, look, Artastic are always so colourful in their costumes as well, and their, their floats. So here we have some of those big, big masks that we were talking about. Mm. 
And you can see there as well, planet Earth symbolized by this giant jigsaw globe made out of lots of pieces. And I'm sure you can make the leap yourself that it symbolizes the many different parts of our world that all come together to make one, to make this puzzle of life and a sum that is greater than all its parts. We have a very special surprise right up in Christchurch now. And what is this, Karen? So you're looking at the, this is fidget feet. And they are performing up at Christchurch and Fidget Feet are an aerialist company from Limerick. And they're going to have some very special surprises for the crowd up there in Christchurch who have waited for the beginning of the parade to get to them and they're going to be rewarded with a huge aerial demonstration from Fidget Feet. So back here on O'Connell Street, our Tastic is still making its way over the bridge. We've seen the globe, and now we see the sun, one large sun that glances over to shine its light on the moon. The planets share the warmth and affection from the sun's smiling glances. Look, isn't it beautiful? Wouldn't we love to see a big smiling sun here sometime? <laughs> We've forgotten what it looks like. It's been winter forever. <laughs> So this is showing the story that we are all under the one sky, basically, and we all share this planet together. Parents, unsurprisingly, cheering for the sun. Although we've little to complain about today. We really do. The weather has played ball. It's made for a really wonderful day for everyone. It's just so different when you're standing under an umbrella. People looking like they could do it. the nice hot meal now shortly. And just behind the big smiling sun, we have the Charlotte Catholic High School Band. All the way from Charlotte, North Carolina, in the USA. They perform in symphonic band, jazz band, marching band, musical orchestra, and much more. led by director Jacob Bohan. It's their fifth appearance in the Dublin St. Patrick's Day Parade. They were here in 2015 and they completed the International Marching Band Competition in Limerick and the St. Patrick's Day Festival Parade in Dublin and they were successful in both. They were named Best International Parade in Limerick and Best Overall Band in Dublin. Enjoying the beat of those drums. We have here the chorus choir, 180 among them. I love the idea of this, Karen, I really do, because it runs singing classes. Really just the idea is everyone who loves to sing. Off they go. No auditions, no need to read, read music. You just learn to sing in harmony to the music that's been the soundtrack of our lives. Let's have a listen.
the singers in chorus, they come from all over Dublin. They have weekly singing classes all over Dublin. And there's actually one member who's been attending classes for years, then moved to Cork and missed singing with chorus so much that she travels up by train every week to attend her class and meet her friends and then goes back to Cork. The message of the chorus choir is that singing is good for you. Never a true word spoken or sung. Among the songs that they're singing today Country Roads, Just Sing, Starlight, and This Little Light of Mine. Parade. Drawing to somewhat of a close. Still a few acts to go. But everyone really, really enjoying the day here today. Karen, when will you start thinking about next year? I already have, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised seeing the amount of work and organisation that goes into all of this. We have bands already booked up to 2025. Do you? Yeah. So it's uh, people, everyone thinking ahead. It's great. You need to. It's a big organisation. And do you often find yourself turning people away? Uh, we try not to. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, we try to please everybody in as we can. There is a time limit, I suppose. Yeah. There were some wonderful choices, I must say, made this year, judging by the happy faces we're seeing on our screens. Chorus Choir also going to be singing up at the Festival Quarter as well. It's great. Lots of things happening in the Festival Quarter and I was saying earlier, it's just you know, the way the parade has gone from one day to four days and there's just so many different events for people uh, to really enjoy and get into over the four day event. It's just, it's really fantastic. It's a real celebration. I can't believe they're going to do that all the way through the parade. I know. Okay. 180 of them. There's 400, I think, in total singers in the entire choir. They say singing makes you happy. Yeah. I think they had a huge uptake in um, over COVID. Everybody wanted to get involved. Outside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. One imagines. And they have their movements and everything synchronized. They're as good as the twirlers, the twirling federation from earlier. And Karen, how do you come up with your theme then, the theme of We Are One? And it's sewn so beautifully throughout the parade today and all the different pages that we've seen. But how do you decide on what the theme is for any one year? usually take a bit of time to monitor how what's going on in the world really yeah and just feel the temperature and what's happening and then let's try and respond to that in a positive way and then we let all the pageants and all the creative pieces know and then they come back to their ideas around it we help them out we work with them one of the things i found so fascinating is seeing the artistic aspect of this with the pageants coming back with such in a way in, in very many ways so many different ideas to reflect the one theme it's really amazing to see it yeah that's a fun part it's not all coming from one brain it's like sharing it out it's a big collaboration you know the process hello <laughs> all the flags all the green it didn't used to be like this
of the hotels are going to be absolutely full tonight. The restaurants, the pubs all across Ireland as we celebrate our Patriot Saints Day. And here we have the Bishop, Bishop Moore Catholic High School Black and Gold Brigade. These come from Florida in the USA, led by Mr. James Barker. 80 among them. Their hometown, hometown is Orlando, Florida. And for nearly two decades, they've marched every year in the highly regarded St. Patrick's Day parades around the world. Savannah, Georgia, Washington, New York and Dublin. And just like you were saying there, Karen, about how far out in advance you plan, uh, these guys started their application to participate in this St. Patrick's Day parade in Dublin four years ago. They've overcome a few challenges as well. They're, the hurricanes have flooded their um, college and they've had to you know, find new instruments and fundraise for all of that as well. So it's great to see them. This is Irish Eyes Are Smiling. And that was, as I said, when Irish eyes are smiling from the Bishop Moore Catholic High School Black and Gold Brigade. And here we have the Dublin Cycling Campaign. And what sort of different cycles we have here are bicycles. It's really become, you know, I, you see it everywhere, Karen, don't you? All around Dublin now at this point, and indeed other parts of the country as well. The infrastructure is slowly but surely getting in place and people are taken to their bikes. Look at the children there and they love it. You know, they just love it. Yes, and they don't have to be these lovely new bikes where they can bring out people. See there that uh, they can bring you out for a cycle if you can't cycle yourself. So that's great. Their theme is all around biodiversity today. The dog wants to walk. I think the dog wants to walk. <laughs> so they're reimagining four important protected habitats in Ireland. Grassland, coastland, forest and wetland bogs. And that's all through the diversity of bikes. I have a little guy who loves those sorts of carriages. It's his <laughs> favourite thing to go around in. I suppose it's another sort of celebration as well of the versatility and diversity of biking. Yes, and I mean, I cycle myself everywhere and it's just so easy to avoid traffic when you're cycling everywhere and you can head off all over the place. And we're so close to everything around here in the city. You can cycle out to the coast, up to the mountains. Yeah, it's, and like I said, it's certainly getting easier with the infrastructure that, that's been put in place. OK, let's go to Dahi and his best bits. Well, la unta ghar fadan sa ibla clear lesh na dahan ghar fad febra thale fish kan thay fear dum. I really love the whole parade, especially maybe uh, spree. Saw them years ago in Waterford. They came here today. They were full of life and full of colour. La unta ghar fad thabi de gheach that gacht bin achter rivshe ega baile agor on way and up. Good in good rele wamsa on sa hamla clear slanga fall. has finally come to an end it just comes and goes too quick for me i loved the music today and i think my favorite band was the Perdue band they were awesome i hope you enjoyed today and the show la ela fadrig honey yev to you all slan oh it's been amazing guys and you know what Patrick Duffy, getting to sing happy birthday to him was probably the best part for me today thank you so much for celebrating with us 
And for me, it was the We Are One pageant, which we. And for me, it was the We Are One pageant, which, of course, had women and inclusivity and women at the front. It was just amazing. Now, if you had a good day, do, do you know what, Sarah? I was down in the middle of the crowd. It was fantastic. People came from all around the world and all around Ireland. Everybody in such good form. And you know, thankfully, we'd only run four or five drops of rain. We should go home to have yeah, show. I didn't notice. I was in an open top bus. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> I was looking up at one stage, going, "Oh my God, she got the easy gig." But you know, it was fantastic to be here. Best view in the house. Her. Best view in the house. And there really is an amazing atmosphere down there today the cycling campaign still going and the crowd still gathering thank you all so much for joining us today law a laporic son of the good boy